my greetings to you. I just want to let you know that you are actually the key to your living a peaceful life. What do I mean by that? You don't need anybody to tell you. You don't need anybody to teach you. You don't need anybody to create the kind of life you should live. And most importantly, being peaceful in this life is all that matters. It's not about all we've acquired or something like that like in my previous post. But you are actually the key to your living a peaceful life. Having that peace of mind, having that peace within, then you can be able to share, give peace, show peace to the outside world. Now, let me give you some tips about that. Number one, the key things that can guarantee your peaceful life is never entangle with people who are negative-minded. They will infect you with their negativity. And remember, that is a sickness that takes long to heal. It's easy to interact, to entangle with such people. But when they have already infected you because of your time and the how long you've spent with them, bringing yourself out of that negativity is different. And thereby, it will make you start saying things always from the negative side. Because everybody around you has something negative. This one, it's always about negativity. And when you want to do something, it will be, you first think about the negative aspect of it. That it restricts you from taking risk. It restricts you from taking those bold steps in life that will launch you into the things you really want to be. It's not about falling, it's about coming up. So don't entangle yourself with people that are negative-minded and they always find faults in other people. Yes, why I say that because they always see, they don't always see this person from a positive aspect. They always find fault in everything other people do. They always find fault in everything around them. They always find fault, even in venturing in life opportunities. They will always find fault. But then that discouragement is there. So when you interact yourself with such people, when you start mingling with them, spending much time with them, they get you infected, which affects your production, which affects the person you are. So from the onset, please stay away from people that are negative-minded, that are forefinders. They will limit you. They will slow you down in life. And before you realize it, you have missed so many things that you would have done in life. Then another point that I want to talk about is that stay far from those who discuss people's misfortune. There are those that that is what they concentrate in life. They discuss, they don't discuss people's success. They don't discuss people's breakthroughs. They, they don't like discussing people's achievements. They like, they, the only thing they focus, they want to hear every time you see them checking their Facebook, Instagram pages, WhatsApp status and updates and all that, all of that social media. It's just to hear that, ah, something has happened to this person. Watch them. When something but negative happens to somebody they spread the news like wildfire like they would they would they will make out all their time to focus throughout the day throughout the week they are busy spreading the the news the bad news so when you stay with those people they cannot they cannot share good news with you because they are they are busy discussing other people's misfortunes and pain or something happens to them they don't celebrate people's success they celebrate people's bad news so stay away from them number one is that such people they will be itchy too to hear that ah, something bad has happened to you those are the news they want to spread about you when something good happens behind they are so angry they are so down they don't really love it they want to see ah something has happened to this person let us celebrate the news they don't like celebrating good things so even you when you're there with them they are disting about somebody how this person fell how this person came down how this person did this one and did that something even happened to somebody my dear, one when yours will happen, it will still spread like well, that is what they, they love, that is what they love, that is what gives them happiness. They hate success, they hate success, and they don't like it, they don't discuss it. And such people they don't really go far in life because they, they, they are limited to a spot. And the second one is that they will never encourage 
energy, good energy or vibes in you. They will never give you good energy. Anything, even when you share your dreams, when you share your ideas with them, they will always say something about it. They will always discourage you. So they even make discourage you from people, good friends, good people that would have helped you in life. Because you'll be sharing it with them. Ah, knowing that this is my friend and all that. When you share your dreams or how you this person, you love this person, they will find something to kill that person in front of you so that you will hate such person and stay far from that person. You see, you see, they will never help you in life. They will never encourage your progress. They will never help you to run fast in life. They will always slow you down. And they just want to see everybody on the same level. And that level that they are, they want everybody to be under them. So it is up to you to know what you want in life. So if you want to rise above them, you have to stay far away from those people. Stay very fast. Stay clear. Stay clear. In that, because when they stop discussing these people's misfortune and all that, anytime they're around you, you're, always, you're only sharing bad news, the negative news about, about them, or how did this person did this and all that. Okay. You will not find that peace of mind because anytime you are with, this, with them, it's all about something bad. So what are you doing with those friends? What are you doing with them? Why are you still in their midst? Why are they still your friends? Don't you want to go far in life? Don't you want to be who you want to be because those people will end up making you what they want you to be like in my previous post i mentioned it so stay away from such people and another important point that i want to tell us now is that never allow a disorganized mind to disorganize you the mind is already disorganized the mind is already shattered that is in this area is in the aspect of these people that can't give you something good in life. And you find out they are your friends. They are already disorganized. And they will want to disorganize your unorganized life. So please, with your organized self, try, help, help to reorganize this disorganized mind. That is why we are in this world. We are here to make a change. We are here to change the world and not the world to change us. We are here to turn the negative to positive. You are here to reorganize a disorganized life. You are here to make things better. You are here to make things work. So from where you've been, please check your surroundings, check your friends, check the people that are always close to you. What kind of energy do they give you? What kind of vibes do they, do they dish out? If they are the people that discuss people's failure, people that talk about the bad people, people that discuss people, they don't discuss ideas with you. They can never call you and tell you, hey, this is what I want to do. Are you interested? You want to do this? Can we venture into this? Can we risk this? Can we, how do we succeed in life? How do we progress? How do we step up? They always discuss something that cannot put money in your pocket. Somebody that cannot upgrade your standard of living. Something that cannot make you stand out. Something that cannot make make any good meaning in your life please desist from such people they are not good for you they cannot help you go far in life they cannot help you to succeed they will always want you to go down see one thing in life that i, I noticed sometime when we were young is that that people always want everybody either to be on the same level for those that are not making it or to see you go down so when you are with those people that are already down and they don't want to go forward. They don't, you don't see that zeal in them to move forward in life. And you really want to. Please um, disengage yourself totally. Completely. In fact, run as far as your legs can carry you. Change your phone numbers. In fact, let them understand that, that you want to move forward in life. They, nobody's going to beat you. This is your life. This is your peace. This is your life. This is your peace. So in order to get this peaceful living, there are some things you need to remove from your life. There are things that need, there are some people that need to disappear completely for you to become who you want to be. When you try these things, you'll find out that you will be at peace. Because when they tell you that every other person there is bad and all that, you're not at peace. You always have this negative mindset about people. And that is a very chronic disease. It's very bad. So please, be positive minded at all times. Don't matter. Don't matter. If this person is good or bad and the person has not done bad to you, why are you feeling uncomfortable, feeling 
See, see life from the positive aspect of it. And you will find out that the wind of positivity will be blowing towards you. But when everything about you, you start seeing everything, most things from the negative aspect of it, that is how negative winds will be blowing negativity in and around you. So change your mindset. Try to be at peace with yourself. Surround yourself with people that give you peace, not with people that make you hate one another, not with people that discuss people, not with people that take joy in discussing people's misfortune. Stay away from them. And when you try these things, you will see yourself. Everything about you will change. Your mindset will change. You will not tolerate all these negative people around you. But you will find a very peaceful and coded means to discharge them. And be at peace with them because you can't afford to be struggling or fighting with these negative minded people. Try it. This is what I have to tell you today. We will see you again next time. Please share this message. It will help people. It will change this world. It will help to change you, change the next person, and change the people around and extend to other people. Stay cool. Stay focused. Pursue your dreams. Know your passions. Always positive minded. Live with peace with yourself and give peace to the world. Thank you. For me, your family.